Good afternoon viewers and thank you for watching CAN TV. My name is Ava and I'm your host for Greater West Town Training Partnership and today with me as our guest from Greater West Town Training Partnership I have with Mr. William Molina. He's one of our career development specialists and also one of the shipping and receiving uh, instructors. Hello William and Hello Ava. Thank you for coming. It's my pleasure to be here. Okay, uh, William, can you give us some insight on uh, what Greater West Town is all about? Greater West Town is a not-for-profit organization which helps economically disadvantaged individuals in the community. Uh, we have employment programs that assist people. We have training programs. And one of the programs that we're featuring today is our Shipping and Receiving Logistics Training Program. So uh, it's, uh, we provide a lot of supportive services for people. For uh, People that are looking for training, people looking for work, people that want a job. Uh, if you're out there and you're looking for work and you don't have the skills and you're in a competitive market right now, then we have a program that's just for you. It's perfect. It's a uh, training program where it's hands-on. They spend uh, 12 weeks in the training program with us, Monday through Friday, 30 to 3.30, and they learn a vast array of skills while they're there to help them become marketable when they go out there looking for work. Why should someone be thinking about um, training for shipping and receiving you know, uh, right as, now? As technology increases, you know, you go to the store before you'd have a cashier, you work a cash register, and now you see the registers and the, the markets and they're using scanners. So they're ringing up your merchandise using scanners and everything is highly automated. So if you don't have skills under your belt that are going to help you go out there and compete for these jobs, then you're going to have a difficult time. Uh, if you want a higher paying job, if you want to increase your wages, then you need to have skills that, that uh, bring those wages in. So that's why I strongly recommend that people get those skills because there's a lot of competition out there. There's a lot of people that, that are looking for work still. And you have people that are highly prepared. And if you're not in the running, then uh, you're going to have a difficult time. So they're going to have a difficult time Absolutely. finding employment. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you tell us a little bit more about the shipping and receiving as to, say, um, a typical day? Typical day. Well, uh, students will come in, and it's, it's, it's school, but I don't want to call it school 100% in the sense of that you're sitting behind a desk all day long with books. Basically, it's a hands-on training program. So when you're in class, you're, you're going to learn the things that you need to utilize in a warehouse environment. And so basically, you're going to learn computerized inventory control, barcode scanning. You will learn how to pick and pack orders, how to process merchandise that's going out. Uh, we run what's called a math distribution company. So basically, students are actually, they're going to feel like they're actually on the job. So they're engaging loads with forklifts, and they're, they're packing loads, and they're processing all the paperwork and uh, the necessary documentation in order to make sure that they do it right. So this way, when they, they say that they go to an interview, they can transition the skills that they learn from us right into the job. They can hit the floor running. Okay, great. And that's the advantage. Uh, what types of candidates are you looking for for your program within the shipping and receiving program? People that really want to do something. People that are motivated. If you're motivated, you want to do something with yourself, you want to uh, increase your, your, your wages, you want to learn a skill that you can take with you the rest of your life. I mean, those are the kind of people we're looking for. Good attitude. If you've got a good attitude, attitude is a key thing. Uh, if you have a good attitude and you have a desire to learn, and, and uh, then you're the type of person we're looking for. I think the key, the key thing is uh, a good attitude. Okay. What, can you give us uh, and the viewers some insight about the admissions process? Well, basically what you would do is just basically, uh, I'm sure Ms. Ava's going to flash the phone number on your screen. Uh, you will call that number and uh, somebody will take your call and we'll make an appointment for you to come into one of our orientations. Uh, during the orientation process, uh, we will take you for a tour. You will see the facilities and what it entails. Um, you, will, uh, you can ask all the questions you want so you can learn about the program and how it works. Uh, you will fill out an application, uh, you'll do a small assessment uh, to assist you. So there's, qu there's quite a bit that goes on when you come to orientation. Once all of that happens, we'll come in for an interview, we'll sit down and talk with you to make sure that this is something that you want to do. And uh, once, once you uh, decide that this is something you want and, and you're a good candidate for our program, then we get the ball rolling, we start the program, and you're on your way to, to your new career, your new future. Okay, so with saying that prior, I'm going to go ahead and go to the overhead so that they can... Uh, obtain the information for the Greater West Town Training Partnership, uh, the Shipping and Receiving Training Program, which is located at 500 North Sacramento Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. The phone number so that you can make your reservations or book your seating for orientation is 312-563-9028. 
There's also other ways that you can connect with us. There's uh, Facebook.com slash Great West Town. Or there's the web, www.gwtp.org. Or you can email, which is training at gwtp.org. The orientations are held mostly on every Wednesday at 8.45 a.m. So, viewers, uh, we have. Is there anyone out there that might want to possibly call in and have a question for Mr. Molina? Feel free to do so while we have these few minutes to to offer you, so that you can book your seat and get in for the up and coming class for shipping and receiving. So, William, what uh, if a person doesn't have um, a high school diploma or a GED? Is that one of the qualifications? It's not a requirement to have a high school diploma or GED. The other thing is, the good thing is that when you do come into the program. Uh, we assist you with that because there is English and math that we give because a lot of people feel like, wow, I don't have my, my math skills up to par or my, my reading level is not as high as it should be. So we provide those classes uh, for you so that way you can enhance your skills in that area. Uh, reading, of course, is very important. Your math skills are very important. You're talking about working with documentation, bill of ladings, things of that nature. So math is important. And what you learn there can actually help you towards your GED. We actually do a pre-GED for those of you that are looking to get your GED at the same time. We have someone that will assist you with that so you can kill two birds with one stone. So okay. I recommend that you make that phone call if you're sitting on that couch down again. One of the things that we find is that you have people that say, well, I've been out of school for a long time and I, I don't know what it is to sit down in a classroom anymore or I can't function at that capacity anymore. Well, uh, the good thing is that here we work with individuals. We provide tutoring. Uh, we'll stay after school with you if you have to and we will work with you and do whatever it takes to make sure that you receive the proper assistance that you need. Does a person have to have a driver's license in order to operate the forklifts? Well, no, it's not necessary for to operate a forklift. It would be great if you had one that opens up more uh, doors for you, but uh, forklift certification, you get it while you're there. So a driver's license is not required, but you're required to be trained according to OSHA standards on safety for the forklift, how to drive the forklift, and the different mechanisms and how they function. And we teach you all of that there. I believe that we have one of the most intense forklift trainings in, in, in Illinois. Great. Uh, what are some of the type of jobs that are available right now for shipping and receiving in that industry? Well, the good thing, Ava, is that <coughs> shipping and receiving is a universal job. Any company, no matter what size, small, medium, large company, it doesn't matter. Anybody who manufactures something receives goods, ships out goods, and so on. So uh, shipping and receiving is universal. There's never a recession in shipping and receiving. Even when the recession was going on a few years ago, um, I remember that people were still placing people. Hospitals still have to receive their goods. Uh, people still have to eat, so supermarkets have to receive their goods. People still buy clothing, so it never stops. So uh, shipping and receiving is something you can use it in any country, anywhere. <clears throat> it's a very universal job, so like I, I, I like to say it's uh, recession-free. Okay, great. Can you tell the viewers who is eligible for the training program? Sure. If you're 18 years or older, uh, live in Chicago, the immediate, immediate Chicago area, around the uh, Chicago area, near suburbs, uh, you qualify. Uh, low income. If you're out of work, if you're unemployed, if you're receiving unemployment right now and you're looking for something to do while you're on un un unemployment, we ask that you give us a call and, and check out the program. I think it will be very beneficial for you. Uh, the other thing is that I want to say is that it's free. They don't pay a penny. There's no tuition. Uh, if you say, well, I don't have bus fare to make it to the program, we provide you with a, uh, a, a venture card. If you uh, drive a car, we provide you with a stipend for a gas card every week. So you have your transportation there, and even if you don't have something to eat, we provide a lunch. I mean, so there's no excuse. You can't say, well, I don't have money for, to eat, no money to get there. We provide everything that you need. All you have to do is come into the door with a willing attitude and a desire to learn and a desire to achieve, and it, it happens. The magic happens. Okay, viewers, so you heard that this is no out-of-pocket expense to yourself. Uh, he's giving you the qualifications. So with that, I'm going to give you the information again as to, and the training is held at the facility, correct? Yes, that's 500 oh. North Sacramento. We okay. have a state-of-the-art facility, and it's, uh, we have all the things that are necessary, all the uh, computer lab, advanced computer lab. We have uh, two warehouses that we utilize, and we have all the equipment. We supply you with your paperwork, your binders, everything that you need. So like I said, you don't need anything. You just come with a willing attitude, and I guarantee you it's going to be an experience that will change your life. Okay, viewers, again, I'm going to flash the information on the screen just in case you didn't get it the first time. So here it is. It's the Greater West Town Training Partnership, the shipping and receiving training program located at 500 North Sacramento Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. The number to dial so that you can make your reservations for the orientation up and coming is 312-563-9028. You can also make contact on facebook.com slash greater west town 
or you can go the World Wide Web, which is www.gwtp.org, or you can also send an email, training at gwtp.org. So the orientations are held mostly on every Wednesday at 8.45 a.m., so don't forget to call so that you can make your reservations. And with that, I'm going to be returning, and we have a guest with us. One of our students, his name is Elmer. Elmer, how are you today? How are you today? Okay, Elmer, I got a qu few questions for you for uh, possibly that maybe the viewers have in mind and they just haven't uh, called in yet. We do have a caller, so um, I'm going to take the call first. Uh, go ahead, viewer. Hello? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, 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 I just saw that student come on, and I, I wanted to ask him what he likes about the program, what, what, why, why he's in that, in that program there. Okay, did you hear him? He said, what do you like about the shipping and receiving program? I like the shipping and receiving program because it, it helps you out a lot. You know, you learn a lot. Uh, it's a lot of love there. Everybody's there for you. And it's not a game. Everything they said about it is basically true. Did you did you hear that caller? Okay, all right. So Wiki, uh, I'm sorry, Elmer. Why did you uh, decide to apply for the program? I, I decided to try, try the program because it was. Uh, I felt that it's a second start. It gives you a second start in life, and I heard that it was a great program. So I, I gave it a try, and <laughs> like I said, everything they said about it is great. I learned a lot of different things. Okay. To push me forward, you know, to go, uh, be successful. Okay, what I should have asked you first was how did you find out about the program? Uh, I found out the program basically through my probation officer and uh, a couple more friends. Okay, so um, what skills are they offering at the shipping and receiving program that you feel that will be preparing you for uh, a job? Okay, I learned uh, cycle counting. Well, uh, warehouse operation, I learned uh, with uh, storage, uh, how to store things, you know, warehouse design, uh, inventory, UPS world ship, <laughs> I learned so much, <laughs> uh, forklift, uh, four types of uh, different forklifts, uh, pallet rider, I learned, I learned so a uh, lot though. So after completing the program with the forklifting, um, there's a certification that comes along with it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what advice would you give to any of the callers, the viewers out there that are watching about the program? What would you suggest that they do? I suggest y'all give it a try, you know, call, because don't have doubt about it, because I know y'all hear a lot of things uh, with doubt, a lot of things that steer you wrong. This is a program that won't steer you wrong. And you, know, uh, you guarantee the job out there they, is going to make sure you get uh, find a job. So, you know, like you said, they prepare you, they give you food, they give you a bus card, they give you a gas card. Uh, how could you miss out? <laughs> and they give you a great education. Whatever you need, they got it for you. You just got to be willing you got to want it. So all they have to do is dial that number and um, take advantage of the yeah, information take that advantage we gave. Of it, yes. Okay, I have one more question for you. What uh, will be some of your biggest challenges uh, out there while you're working? My biggest challenge will be, basically, I don't feel that I won't have no challenge. This was my biggest challenge to get up and go and give something a chance. So after this, after I'm done with this, I feel nothing can stop me from doing anything else. Well, that's good to hear, Elmer, <laughs> that all of this positive, you know, attitude that you have. And I hope the viewers are feeling that same sensation. I mean, because it's certainly coming across through the conversation that I'm having with you. So with that, I'm going to go back to the overhead to give them the information so that they will call in, that they will register for the class. So, Ricky, um, Elmer, I am so sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and being on the show. Okay, you're welcome. So, viewers, here's the information again. It's the Greater West Town Training Partnership. It's the Shipping and Receiving Training Program, 500 North Sacramento Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. The phone number to dial is 312-563-9028. You can make contact with us on <coughs> Facebook.com slash Greater West Town, or you can use the World Wide Web dot GWTP dot org or contact us through the email, training at gwtp.org. Remember, the orientations are booked on Wednesday. They are at 8.45 a.m. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing you at the orientation. So, welcome back again, William. Yes, um, back. Elmer had mentioned a barrier. So, mm -hmm. 
people with barriers or your clients with barriers are accepted? Absolutely. We have people that you know, made mistakes in life and some of them have criminal backgrounds. And we work with people that have criminal backgrounds and we treat each case on an individual basis, of course. And uh, we try to assist and provide the services that people need. Um, we have other people that maybe the barrier is that they're a little low on their basic skills. We provide training that assists you to raise your basic skills. So we try to help people to deal with things like a lot of people come with low self-esteem. You've been out of work for a long time. You, you're feeling kind of down and out. So we do a lot of motivation there. There's a lot of motivation. We encourage you. We let people know that nothing can stop you. I mean, people learn how powerful they really can be. You know, it's, it's all what's inside of an individual's heart and mind. And that's something that we like to, you know, to drive out of people. Hey, you, look, you got it. You can do this, you know. So um, people uh, receive the support they need. And there's all the support mechanisms possible to, to assist them to, to make it. Is there or are there, do you have any success stories that you can share with our viewers out there? Well, we've had, uh, talk about barriers. We had an individual that uh, he was handicapped. He was uh, missing parts of he, his hand had caught in a ring, one of those old fashioned ringers. So he was missing most of his fingers from this, from his right hand. And uh, he came in, he had a background as well. He had just come out of a halfway house. So this, this gentleman had a lot of barriers, a lot of struggles. And I remember he sat there, I interviewed him for the program and a tear came down from his face. And he says, uh, all I want is somebody give me a chance. Nobody gives me a chance. So we gave him that chance. You know, I felt that he was being genuine. So we gave him that chance and this young man, uh, he excelled in such a way that was just phenomenal. His attitude, his work ethic, I mean, he wanted, he, you could see how hungry he was, that he really wanted this. And so eventually, uh, he had lost his wife and kids because of the fact that he had gone to prison and, and you know, his life went down, downhill. Um, he graduated from the program early. We were able to graduate him earlier, get him placed out early. And uh, he, I checked on him with the employer. The employer says, man, I love this guy. Would you get this guy? His attitude, his demeanor. Uh, he, w he wasn't handicapped at all. He, he was a gentleman that he could do an anything that anyone else did with no problems, and he did. And um, during graduation, the graduation ceremony, I see a ceremony, I see a guy coming in a suit with this lady and two children, and it happened to be him with his wife and kids. He got back together with his wife because he's got himself together. He was able to get a job, and, and now I hear that he went on to go to, to another school for trucking, and I heard he's a truck driver now. So this is a person that was really hungry, that really wanted it, and they had, he had lots of barriers. But the thing is, he had the right attitude. So uh, he was a, he's a great success story. I mean, there's many, many other stories of people that have come to our program that some were homeless. We've had people that, that didn't have a, they were sleeping in a car. I mean, we've, we've heard it all. And, and of course, this is not just for people that have barriers. It's for people also that just don't have a job. You know, there's people out there that just don't have a job, that are seeking new experiences, new skills. Some people, uh, they're unemployed. They shut the company down where they work at. And they're looking for a change they, or they want to advance. They were doing something for 15, 20 years, 10 years. And uh, now they want to learn something new and head in a new direction. So this is also a resource for that. If you're unemployed and you're seeking a new direction, well, you can come to Greater West Town and learn a new skill. Uh, the other thing I want to emphasize on is the hands-on part is really good because um, to practice something and actually, to, to, to do something, you're actually doing it. You're learning it in the classroom, and then you're going out there and you're doing it. It's hands-on. You're actually operating a forklift. You're actually engaging loads. You're, lo you're learning how these mechanisms work, the science behind it. You learn extensive safety. Um, job readiness is a job readiness piece that's really great. So people learn how to uh, compose a resume. So they will be typing their own resume with our assistance. Uh, they learn how to fill out applications professionally, how to interview. I mean, so it's the whole, the whole realm, the whole spectrum. So it's a holistic approach to um, the uh, world of shipping and receiving. I think we have a caller that's looking to speak to us. Go ahead, caller. Hi there. Um, uh, my question is, I'm sh and I'm sorry if you've already answered this, I just tuned in. Uh, does someone have to be 18, I'm sorry, does someone have to have a GED or a diploma in order to um, be part of the program? No, ma'am, they don't have to have a GED or high school diploma. And uh, like I was saying earlier in the show, we also provide classes that will assist them with the pre-GED test. So that way it can assist them to, as well as graduating from our program, they can also work towards getting uh, their GED with our support. Oh, wow, that's great. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. So, William, what types of uh, jobs are the graduates placed on? We have a variety of jobs. You know, there's manufacturing jobs where they use uh, forklifts as well, and there's order picking, there's packing. 
Um, there's customer service because you know in shipping and receiving you, you work with customers. Sometimes you receive goods and you have to greet that customer uh, professionally. Um, there's a lot of detail work as far as paperwork which can lead to office work. I mean there's a lot of uh, the spectrum is wide. There's a lot of different positions that you can work in through shipping and receiving. Uh, you can be a receiver, you can be a shipper, and so on. I believe we have another caller who wants to talk to us. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, hi, how are you? Great, how are you? Good. Listen, I was curious, uh, I, do I need to have uh, experience in shipping and receiving to be accepted into the program? No, absolutely not. We have people that never done shipping and receiving before. So I always say it's like you, firefighters were never putting out fires before they became firefighters. Policemen weren't policemen before they became policemen. They all needed to get training. Uh, they go to the academy, they get trained, they go out there and they learn to do something new. Well, it's the same thing with shipping and receiving. You come into our doors, we will work with you, we'll train you, and you'll get the necessary skills to go out there and do that job. And we give you a solid foundation so when you get on the job, that's where you're going to learn a lot more. Hey, and I'm sorry, do you guys help with job placement afterwards? Absolutely. Yes, we do. We Our, our job placement rate, as a matter of fact, is about 90%. Um, we have a, a lot of people that we place on different jobs. So, yes, you absolutely do get a lot of support, and we do provide placement for you. Great. Thank you very much for the information. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. William, okay, we had Elmer as our guest student speaker, uh, but can you tell me the ratio, like, with women? Do you have women that apply for shipping and receiving as well? As a matter of fact, we do. We have some pictures of, uh, that we can show uh, on the screen there, uh, what takes place when they're in training. Um, so women are very successful in the program. Uh, as you're seeing here, you're seeing some of the equipment that's used. You see a young lady right here assisting a gentleman with the barcode scanner. So they, and, and this is a good shot because you see them doing hands-on training. Uh, so they're actually picking orders and processing orders as, as you see on the screen here. Okay, and this one? Uh, we have forklift certification, so we have here the narrow stand-up breeze truck. We have our sit-down uh, Toyota truck. So basically people learn safety in the warehouse, safety for driving, uh, which leads to their certification as well. Uh, here we have them, they have processing in order. Uh, so they're, they're stretch wrapping, they're using a stretch wrap machine. You see a lady in the background there, she's preparing another shipment that's going out. So when you go here, you're going to think you're actually at a company because it gives you that real-life feeling that you're on the job. And here we see the group again. This is uh, a, a couple of women in this picture. And uh, so uh, what they're doing here is they're processing an order. They're packaging an order. So they, they, they're running a mock shipment going on there. The young lady to the right of the screen is processing some papers, and she double-checks to make sure that the order is correct. So... Um, an employer would benefit a lot from hiring our people because of the fact that they come prepared and they, they can hit the floor running. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the overhead again. If you are interested in taking the shipping and receiving program, please give us a call. This is the Greater Westtown Training Partnership. Uh, it's located at 500 North Sacramento Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, 60612. The phone number to dial is 312-563-9028. We have several ways that you can make that connection. One is on facebook.com forward slash greater west town. The other is the world wide web dot gwtp.org. Or you can email training at gwtp.org. Don't forget for shipping and receiving, the orientation is on Wednesday. It's always at 845 a.m. in the morning. So be prepared, make the call, come out and meet us. Okay, William, uh, is there anything else that you'd like to share with the viewers in regard to the shipping and receiving Absolutely. program? Absolutely. If you're sitting on that sofa right now, because one of the things that people do is they put it off. I don't know if I can do this, and I'll do it tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes today. So if you want this to happen, I say get up, go to the phone, make that phone call, and, and sign up. Get into the program. Come to an orientation. Find out what it's about. See what it's about. So it's a great opportunity for you. So like I said, don't let it pass you by. Uh, go to the phone, make that call. I haven't been in school. It's okay. I, I, I don't think I can do it. It's okay. Yes, you can. You can do anything you set your mind to, and with the proper support, with the proper help, I believe and strongly believe that you will succeed and you'll wind up with a job and a future and a career. Okay, we're going to give them that information again just in case they uh, overlooked it. And here it is, viewers. This is your last opportunity before we go off the air. It's the Greater Westtown Training Partnership Shipping and Receiving Training Program, 500 North Sacramento Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois, 
612-563-9012. The phone number to dial is 312-563-9028. We have three contacts for you. One is on Facebook.com slash Greater West Town. The other is the World Wide Web, gwtp.org, or you can do the email. Thank you.